Hi, I am uh, Ganapati Venugopal. Uh, people call me VG. I am uh, founder and CEO of Axelo Ventures. Axelo Ventures uh, is one of the largest platforms in the country to support early stage startups. Uh, we do it through, through two of our flagship programs. One is the Accelerator uh, program, which we where we run the largest uh, ac uh, cohort-based accelerator program in the country. Uh, we work with startups across five sectors, consumer, enterprise, deep tech, health tech, and fintech. And uh, we are also one of the top three seed investors in India. This question uh, has different answers depending on the stage of the investor. But being a seed investor, I will possibly uh, uh, try to answer it from the perspective of a seed investor. So what do you look for in a company? Obviously, seed investors are looking for companies uh, that uh, go after large opportunities and uh, with teams that demonstrate that they are the ones uh, who can possibly capture that opportunity. And third, most importantly, it's a company that should have a fairly good prospect in terms of being able to scale the business and uh, successfully raise subsequent rounds of funding. Uh, my first take would be that uh, maybe the VCs will make an exception for Axelop because we consistently see a lot of our companies, at least 70% of our companies go on to raise their next round of funding from uh, uh, the later stage investors. On your earlier question about how should accelerators measure success, right? Uh, there are three things that we need to look at. First of all, who is the customer? If you take customer uh, here as the startup, Accelerators need to measure their success in terms of whether they have been able to deliver successful outcomes for their customers, which in this case will be startups, right? And there are three outcomes that are important for startups. Number one, they need to see acceleration. Uh, they need to uh, get funded, at least uh, something that gives them a capital runway for the next 12 to 15 months. And they need to have template for a scalable business, right? Most accelerators should ask themselves how consistently they have been able to deliver these three outcomes for every startup going through that program, number one. Number two, even if they are not able to deliver these outcomes, most of them should at least measure the net promoter score in terms of the what the founders think about the program. And third, uh, one of the important value that accelerators bring in is to be able to create a high quality early stage pipeline for the VCs and the seed funds. So what percentage of the early stage pipeline they have been able to generate will be one other metric. If most accelerators were to measure themselves against these three aspects um, and get some verifiable data around this, uh, they will have their answers clear in terms of whether they are faring well and why they are not faring well. Sudden shift in the business model is primarily because um, there hasn't been much success in that model, right? If, if uh, the companies coming out of the accelerator do well, then the equity value of, uh, of their stake in those startups will definitely pay for the program cost, right? Because that is not happening, uh, then there is a temptation to move away from that. But I think uh, that is a suboptimal approach. Because you still have to solve for the problem of creating successful startups, right? If you are not able to predictably deliver these kind of outcomes for startups, um, then the product, the accelerator program as a product is not working, right? I think that is the important problem to solve for.